If you're looking to start or scale your dropshipping business using Shopify, then you came to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set up Spocket with Shopify, from getting your store ready to importing products and managing orders. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything that you need to kickstart your dropshipping business in 2024. So let's dive right in. What is Spocket? Before we get into the setup process, let's quickly cover what Spocket is and why it's such a great tool for dropshipping. Spocket is a dropshipping app that connects you with suppliers from the US and Europe, allowing you to sell high quality products with fast shipping times. If you've ever tried dropshipping from platforms like AliExpress, then you know that shipping times can often stretch for weeks. With Spocket, many products arrive within just a few days. This is huge when it comes to customer satisfaction, especially if your audience is in the US or Europe. Spocket's integration with Shopify also makes it incredibly easy to import products, set your prices, and manage orders without needing any technical expertise. Whether you're just starting out or looking to scale, Spocket is a tool that you'll definitely want to consider. Step one, setting up your Shopify store. First, let's get your Shopify store up and running. If you already have a Shopify store, then feel free to skip ahead. But for those who are brand new to Shopify, here's a quick rundown on how to set it up. First things first, click the link down below in the description for Shopify and sign up for a free three-day trial. After that, it's just $1 for your first month. So when you click that link down below, it's gonna look something like this. And again, you can go ahead and get started with the free three-day trial, and then it's just $1 for your first month. Go ahead and enter your email address to get started. And after you enter that email address, it'll look something like this. Now, it may or may not ask you to re-enter your email address, so we'll go ahead and just click on sign up with email address. We'll go ahead and type in our email address as well as a password. And we'll go ahead and click on create Shopify account. Now, Shopify is gonna guide you through the process of setting up your storefront, which includes picking a theme, adding your logo, and customizing your site's layout. So to help you get started, it's gonna ask you a bunch of these questions here. So you can either answer these if you'd like, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip all of these. Now, Shopify makes it really easy to build a professional looking store, even if you're not a designer or a developer. There's a tons of different themes that you can choose from, most of which are very customizable. And it's really about creating a storefront that reflects your brand and appeals to your target audience. So once your store is set up and ready to go, it's time to move on to the next step, and that is installing Spocket. So now that your Shopify store is ready, let's get Spocket set up. So installing Spocket on Shopify is a breeze. And if you don't already have a Spocket, account, you can be sure to use the link down in the description to get started with the best pricing available. So to install Spocket into Shopify, we're going to come over here in our dashboard and click on add apps. We'll just click on this apps right here. And that'll bring us to the search bar where we can go ahead and type in Spocket. We'll go ahead and click on that. And we'll go ahead and click on install. So once you found Spocket, go ahead, click on add app and just follow all the prompts on here. So we're back here in the Shopify dashboard. From here, it's just saying that the app needs access to view personal data, view and edit store data, and we'll go ahead and click install. So after installing Spocket, you'll be prompted to create a Spocket account. And all you need to do is sign up with your email address and you're good to go. Spocket will now be connected to your Shopify store. So now that Spocket is set up, let's get into the fun part and that's finding products to sell. So here in Spocket, it's gonna ask what type of categories do we wanna sell in? You can go ahead and choose one of these or we can go ahead and just hit skip for now. It's gonna ask what kind of products are you looking for? Either US slash EU suppliers, which is what Spocket's really known for. Again, you're gonna get those faster shipping times by choosing that option. But you also have the option to choose something from AliExpress or to even white label a product. So for now, we'll just go ahead and select the US EU suppliers and click continue. And then it's gonna say, which region are you planning to sell to? It already has global selected, but you could choose Asia, North America, or Europe. We'll go ahead and leave it on global for now and hit continue. Now here it's gonna go ahead and ask you to choose a plan. And we'll go ahead and just select the starter one. We'll go ahead and click on try for free. So you can go ahead and try any of the Spocket plans for a 14 day free trial period. And then after that is when your credit card will be charged, but you need to enter your information in now. Step three, finding products to sell. Now, one of the main benefits of Spocket is the wide variety of high quality products available. You can browse categories like fashion, beauty, home goods, tech accessories, and more. Plus, 
if you have it selected, all the suppliers are based in the US or Europe, meaning that shipping is fast, which is a major selling point for your customers. Here's how to find the right products for your store. Go ahead and open the Spocket app from your Shopify dashboard if it's not already open. Now, once we're in Spocket, we can go ahead and look through the different categories here at the top. There's things like women's clothing, jewelry and watches, home garden. We can also click right here and look for more categories. So from here, we can see men's clothing, sports and outdoors, gifts, automotive, and more. We can also go ahead and search for something in the search bar right here if we have something in particular that we're looking for. So in the search bar, we can go ahead and click on filters. And here, we can go ahead and refine our search even further. So we can go ahead and search from a specific country. We could select the United States or Europe. We could also select uh, for where it ships to, whether that's a specific country or the United States or Europe. We can also go ahead and look for something by item cost. So if you wanted to try to keep your costs under a certain number, you could go ahead and use this filter here. Let's say you wanted to keep it under $50 or something like that. You can go ahead and use that filter. So we'll just go ahead and click on view results. And now we're just looking for anything that is under $50 cost. So for example, if you're running a store focused on fitness, you can go ahead and filter for sports and fitness gear. And if you're targeting customers who want eco-friendly products, you can also search for those as well. And Spocka just makes it really easy to narrow down your options. So let's go ahead and just find a product here. Let's go ahead and choose this gaming headset and we'll go ahead and click on add to import list. So once you found your product that you're interested in selling, just click on the add to import list and you can add as many products as you'd like to your import list before pushing them to your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and just find one more product to sell here. Uh, we'll go ahead and choose this five core USB wall charger and click add to import list. Step four, importing products to Shopify. So now that you've built up your import list, it's time to move these products to your Shopify store. Here's how to do that. In Spocket, we're just gonna go ahead and click on the import list to see all the products that you've selected to import. Here you can review the product details such as the title, description, and pricing. You'll want to customize these details to match your store's branding. For example, you might wanna tweak the product descriptions to make them more engaging or SEO friendly. So over here on the left-hand side, we'll just go to import list. And this is where we can go ahead and make those changes. So here's the product name. So you can go ahead and change the name if you'd like. You can also use AI to go ahead and make changes for you. And if we come over here to description, you can go ahead and change the description. This is a good spot to go ahead and try out that AI to help you, as well as the variant section here. So this doesn't have any variants with it. It just has the one. And we can also select the different images that we want to pull from Spocket into our Shopify store. So once everything looks good, Good, and you're ready to go ahead and push this to your store. You can either go ahead and click here on push store to send it to just this single item to send that over to your Shopify store. Or if you just want to send everything that you have in your import list to your Shopify store, you just come over here and click on push all. So after editing, you know, you click push to store, this will automatically publish the products to your Shopify store. So one pro tip is customize the product descriptions as much as possible. Not only does this help with SEO, but it also allows you to tailor the product to your target audience. For example, let's say you're selling women's fashion. Make sure that the tone of the description resonates with your demographic. You can also use this opportunity to highlight the fast shipping times if your customers are based in the US or Europe. Step five, managing pricing and profit margins. Once your products are in Shopify, it's crucial to get your pricing right. Spocket gives you two key prices to work with. The product costs, which is what you pay the supplier, and the suggested retail price, which is what your customers will pay. So you can adjust these prices based on your profit goals. For example, if a product costs you $10 and you wanna achieve a 50% profit margin, then you'd price the product at $20. Don't forget to factor in shipping fees, transaction costs, and any other expenses when setting your final price. So Shopify has tools that make it easy to bulk edit prices, which is useful if you're adding multiple products at once. Now you can also run promotions or discounts directly from the Shopify dashboard. So if we go over here and we go from Spocket and we go back to our Shopify store here, we'll go ahead and refresh the page. And if we come over here to products, 
We can go ahead and see those two products that we went ahead and pushed over. We have the five core USB wall charger and the five core gaming headset for PS4. So if we wanna go ahead and change the pricing, let's go ahead and just start with this gaming headset. So go ahead and click on it here. And we can see that all the information that we saw over in Spocket transferred over here to our Shopify store. We have the title, the description here, and also the media. And here we can go ahead and make any changes that we'd like to as well. So if we go ahead and scroll down here, we can go ahead and see the price and we can go ahead and see the cost per item. And right now that's only a dollar 35 profit, which is a 9.1% profit margin. So let's go ahead and raise this price to something like $30. And what's great is that Shopify goes ahead and does all these calculations for you. So we can see that we're gonna make a $16 and 45 cent profit, which is a 54.8% margin, which is fine for now. Step six, fulfilling orders with Spocket. So once your store is live and customers start placing orders, Spocket makes the fulfillment process seamless. When a customer places an order on your Shopify store, the order is automatically synced with Spocket. All you need to do is head over to the orders tab in Spocket where you'll see all the pending orders. Simply click checkout next to the order to pay for the product and the supplier will handle the rest. They'll package and ship the item directly to your customer. This hands-off approach to order fulfillment is what makes drop shipping such a great option for entrepreneurs. You don't need to worry about inventory or shipping logistics. Spocket takes care of it for you. So back over here in Spocket, what we'll do, we'll come over here to orders. And once your store is up and live, this is where you go ahead and see those orders coming in. Step seven, shipping and return policies. Shipping is one of the biggest concerns for customers, especially in the world of e-commerce. With Spocket, most suppliers are based in the US or Europe, meaning that shipping times are relatively fast. Many products offer delivery within three to five business days, which can give your store a competitive edge. To further improve customer satisfaction, make sure to clearly communicate shipping times and costs on your product pages. This transparency helps manage expectations and reduces the likelihood of customer complaints. Returns, on the other hand, depend on the individual supplier's policies. Before listing a product on your store, review the supplier's return and refund policies in Spocket. It's a good idea to list this information on your store's FAQ or policy pages so that customers know what to expect. Step eight, choosing the right Spocket plan. So Spocket offers several pricing plans depending on the size and needs of your business. Here's a quick breakdown. Free plan. This allows you to browse all the products but not import them into your store. It's more like a trial option to explore the platform. Starter plan, priced at $39.99 per month or $24 per month if billed annually. This plan allows you to import up to 25 products into your store. You'll also get access to winning products, branded invoicing, and AliExpress drop shipping. Then there's a professional plan for $59.99 per month or $288 annually, which comes out to $24 per month. You can import up to 250 products, including 25 premium products. This plan also offers features like branded invoices, access to VIP support, and multiple store support. The Empire plan is priced at $99.99 per month or $57 per month when billed annually. The Empire plan allows you to import up to 10,000 products and 10,000 premium products. Products. This plan's ideal for larger stores that need access to a bigger catalog and premium features. The Unicorn Plan. This is for stores with very high demand. The Unicorn Plan costs $299.99 per month or $79 per month when billed annually. It provides up to 25,000 product imports, premium support, and the full range of Spocket's advanced features. For most beginners, the starter or professional plans are sufficient. And as your store grows, you can always upgrade to a higher tier to meet your needs. Step nine, tips for maximizing your success. Before wrapping up, here are a few more tips to help you get the most out of Spocket and Shopify. Test your products. Before committing to a product, order samples to check the quality and shipping times. This will ensure that you're selling high quality items that your customers will love. Optimize your store for conversions. A well-designed store can make a huge difference in your conversion rate. Consider using Shopify apps like Gem Pages or PageFly to create visually appealing product pages. Highlight fast shipping. If you're targeting US or European customers, be sure to emphasize the fast shipping times on your product pages and in your marketing materials. This can be a major selling point compared to competitors using slower shipping methods. 
Focus on building a brand. Instead of trying to sell random products, focus on building a brand around a specific niche. This helps you build customer loyalty and stand out from the competition. There you have it, your complete guide on how to use Spocket with Shopify in 2024. With the right strategy, product selection, and focus on customer experience, you'll be well on your way to building a successful dropshipping business. If you wanna get started with Spocket and Shopify, you'll find the links for them down in the description below to get started. These are affiliate links, which means that we are in a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. These commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue making free content just like this. So if you end up using those links, we thank you so much in advance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we're dedicated to helping you succeed with e-commerce, providing tips and strategies and insights to grow your online business. So be sure to subscribe for more. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.